Hello everyone, Mr. Bonkowski here with an overview of ELA 10 for this week and we are going to dive into the first and second drafts of your research reports. It sounds more intimidating than it is, I promise. Um, the drafts are just me taking a look at very specific things and revisions that you're making for your research report. Yes, you'll have to give me your first shot at the entire five plus paragraph research report. Um, but it's not needing to, it's, you don't need to have it in your final form this week. So first of all, an overview of our week. So you should be finishing the novel night because you're going to have a quick final project about night coming up next week pretty soon as we wrap up module 11. So you need to finish that up before next Monday, one more week. Take the 11.6 quiz by the end of Monday. 11.7 for Tuesday. And then that's when your first draft is due. That's uh, Tuesday, May 11th. Second draft is due Wednesday, May 12th. Then we have 11.8 with our live lesson on Thursday at 1 p.m. and a quiz on that lesson. And then 11.9 and a quiz on that lesson due Friday. So with all of that in mind, let's take a look at the assignment sheet. If you don't remember where this is, remember it is in Module 10. So let's take a look at where that is. Module 10, Modules 10 through 12 Research Paper Assignment Sheet. That is where you find this information. Now for your research report, you need to remember your research question as well as your thesis statement. So you would go into your gradebook and you should be able to take a look at um, the work that you submitted for your research question and what your thesis statement is. I have opened that assignment up so you can see your original submission as well as my feedback. So if you can't get to either one of those, please let me know because it should work now. Okay, so for your first draft assignment, you are going to basically draft your research paper. You should have an outline that you've created, like Roman numeral 1, introduction, Roman numeral 2, 3, 4, 5. Basically, I would suggest uh, Roman numerals for each paragraph, and then capital A, capital B. The more organized you can be, and the more detailed your outline is, you can pretty much just write your report from your outline. Even though it may seem like an extra step, outlines are super important to producing an organized product. Otherwise, your research paper may kind of go all over the place if you haven't thought about an organizational structure. An organization is a key part of writing. So once you have all that done, here is how I'm going to grade your first draft. So your introduction paragraph, two points, your body, two points, conclusion, two points, six points total. And I'm not looking as closely at grammar yet. I will be doing that, obviously, for the final copy. Right now, you're just getting your thoughts on paper. Of course, don't just copy from your sources. You're practicing paraphrasing and as much of that as you can. So for your introduction paragraph, one point for introducing your topic and the context, the background about your area of research. Make it clear what you are doing. The other point is your thesis statement in your own words and how you will prove the statement is true. So you did your thesis statement assignment. You have that to look back on. Now I'm looking for your final thesis statement. Did you take my advice? Did you just copy um, and ignore my advice? Uh, I'm going to be grading you on really if your thesis statement is good at this point. So make sure you've done the best you can to make sure it's a good thesis statement. According to the lesson that you read about thesis statements, if you came to the live lesson, that's why those are so important. We talked a lot about that last Thursday. All right, body paragraphs, uh, two more points. One point is that you introduce your key main ideas that support your thesis. One, two, three. Each paragraph should be a different support with details, evidence from research. That's your first point. If you don't have any evidence, that's going to lose you that point. Another point would be that you draft uh, specific research that backs up each main idea for all three body paragraphs. So not only do you introduce a main idea for each paragraph, you have your research. There's your two points there. Conclusion is two more points. One point, you explain in your own words your main reasons that support your thesis. So the main ideas in each paragraph, you summarize them in your conclusion. That's one point. 
Second point, you draft your ending that gives context to your topic and leaves the reader feeling satisfied and informed. And you have maybe some call to action if needed, depending on your topic. So that is your first draft assignment right there. Here are the requirements I'm looking for. Five paragraphs minimum, even though it's a first draft, um, you will struggle to get a good score on it if you haven't met, met the minimum requirements here. Each paragraph should be five sentences or more. Um, one sentence per paragraph isn't going to work here. You need to push yourself uh, to uh, meet that minimum too. Make sure each body paragraph goes along, ties back to your thesis statement, and pay attention to the grammar suggestions in blue and red. Don't ignore them. Even though it's a first draft, I still want to see you um, not just being lazy and ignoring those, at least taking those corrections to heart. The second draft assignment is basically you're going to bold a few sentences where you've paraphrased information, one, two, where you've summarized information from your research source, three, where you've entered Integrate, integrated, sorry, a direct quote. That information is covered in 11.7, paraphrasing, summarizing, and integrating direct quotes. All I'm looking for are three sentences to be bolded where all three of these skills are shown. If you get the skill incorrect, you will not get the point. So make sure you read less than 11.7 closely so you understand the difference between how to do those three things. So again, paraphrasing one point. Um, did you put it in your own words and you integrate it into your draft? Summarizing, you summarize a source's main idea. So not the entire like paragraph, like a paraphrase might be. It's just the main idea to summarize. And then a direct quote is your third point. Directly quote a source, correctly integrate it with correct grammar into your second draft. So again, busy week in ELA, wrapping up, uh, not wrapping up the research project, but really getting going on it with an actual draft. If you are stuck, you need some help writing, this would be a great week to book a one-on-one -on -one with me. Good luck, everyone, and we will see you in live lesson at 1 p.m. this Thursday.